we had a two lane, but they were very small two lanes. Now I see when you do drive through, it is going to be one lane, and I see some uh, some some new sidewalks and even the area that we're standing on here now. Tell me, uh, when the plans were done uh, back before we took office here, how what, what were the plans for it to be a one way and that sort of thing, and, and how did we get to that point uh, to have one way starting from this end of Fifth Street all the way to where the stop sign is there? Well, if you you look at this area and you, you think, okay, what what type of, of of, of improvements or what would you want to see? Well, key is not necessarily the through traffic. Right. You want people to get out and walk, wide right. sidewalks. You want people to be able to parallel park, you know, not necessarily angle park. You want that 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 feel that this is a nice area where you can come and relax and you don't and you're not in a rush. So that was some of the thought that went into this. We're talking festivals. Right. You know, this used to be the site of the Juneteenth and hopefully it'll come back here. Right. So when you start t having that conversation and it's not about fast pace, right. it's more about let's slow it down, let's enjoy the area, let's take time to appreciate, appreciate. this is a segment of Meridian. Hence, that, that's the kind of thought process that went into this overall design. And you're talking about a lot of value being brought into this area because of what we've done here with the construction. So, you know, I'm a small business owner myself. I know you talked about the festivals and I see this as a Bill Street of Meridian. I mean, I already can see the brick sidewalks and the brick paving on the concrete. And I see people being able to come down here and eat and drink and have their beer outside and watch something of uh, entertainment going on in this area and also shop. Um, do you think now that when we do this, do you see the possibility of, of that possibly happening as you see like in Starkville and some of the other cities when you go down to these little small districts where you see that type of vibe? I mean, we have the Mississippi Arts Entertainment mm -hmm. Center coming. We're not far away from Three Foot coming here. Do you think that we have a need in this city as a public works director for this area uh, to continue to be grown and then shaped into that type of festive area? Absolutely. Let me just say this, speaking from the standpoint of that public works director, I can say the infrastructure is in place to accommodate the things you just talked about. Right. That was the theme all along. Um, if you go right up the streets, you got the, the, the Riley Center. So yes, um, the mindset of saying, hey, can we, can we make this happen? As a city, I think we're doing all we can to ensure that those kind of things happen. Giving people um, or investing in new sidewalks new utilities, new storm drains, new sewer lines, new water lines, you know, um, a nice area to park and so forth. So yes, new park benches, all those things that city government can provide to, you know, grow an area, to, to make an area be more appreciative, we're doing. And let me say this to the people that are listening, some of what has happened in these two projects was not our initial project to begin with. It had started some before the new administration took office. So we had to rock and roll with a lot of things that were already on the books and make the best of both of these projects. And what we are trying to offer a value to, not just the business owners down here and the people who have come here before to uh, to, to get their hair done, to get uh, uh, to use the cab service, to, to party at the Cotton Club up here. I mean, listen, this is this is our this is our uh, place of not just doing business, but this is the heart and soul of the city of Meridian, this downtown um, historically African American district. And what we're trying to do now is to continue that tradition and bring the vibe back to this space. I know what you see right now is a lot of dilapidated buildings, but that's not what this space has to be. It can be whatever we want it to be. We have put in place now the infrastructure for there to be opportunity and growth, not just in other parts of Meridian as you've seen in the last three and a half years, but right here in this downtown area. Because it's so special to this administration, just like it's so special to so many of you, and it's up to all of us to bring it back to life. My vision is, Hugh, and hopefully uh, you and the people out there and some people who want to do something great in Meridian and bring this area back to what it was in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, we can do that together. One team, one dream, one Meridian together. Thank you for joining in with us today, and thank you, Hugh. Sorry. If there are three things that you guys get out of my interview with my public works director, Mr. Hugh Smith, the three things are one, 
A lot of the issues that we dealt with had not been touched or addressed since 1909. Two, there were two totally separate uh, projects. The first being an MDA project, which ended in uh, December of 2016. And the second uh, project is a Mississippi Department of Transportation project that would have started in August of 2016, and hopefully it will end at the end of May or early spring of this year. And the third and most important thing is, we have invested in this space. We have invested in this historic district. Are you now ready to come and join us and help us reinvest in this area so that we can have Juneteenth here, so we can have festivals here, so that we can bring back the music and the vibe of this whole city right here in the historic African-American district? We're ready. Are you?